out here on the lake. So the lake is thawing a little bit. It's the post-Christmas, pre-New Year lake thaw. As we're seeing it happen here, we decided to come out, get a better view from the lake of the sunset, a view you can't normally get. The nice thing is, I thought I'd take advantage of, well, the ice melting on the top gives us a nice water, a shimmer, a reflection of the sunset. And this gives us a nice look. So I thought I'd come out and take that and then look for the leading lines, looking for the foreground and the background of the image that would really carry it forward. And you can see, and we'll be talking about the foreground, the leading lines that carry you out to the rest of that image. I like leading lines, especially in this image as we're looking at sunset. You can see in the image, I've got something going on here. If you look a little bit closer, I have these cracks in the ice. And the cracks in the ice just drive the image through, drive you out to the trees and hill in the distance. We call them mountains here in Pennsylvania, but we lie to ourselves. And of course, to the sunset. So this is the shot, the nice leading lines carrying you forward. And of course, a longer exposure with a higher f-stop of f11 for the shot is going to allow me, hopefully, to get the shot. And as my friend, I put that in quotes because I've never met him, as Gavin Hardcastle says, well, if I got the shot, here's the shot. The other thing I wanted to highlight here is just getting low to the ground, getting low in this case to the ice. It gives you that ability to distort that field, to get that leading line much closer as it carries you forward in that image. So you can have that leading line carry you because you're right there next to it. It's very much in the foreground, about two, three, four feet away. But you can use that to get you to the distance.